Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today's date is October the 27th on a Tuesday and the local time right now in Denver is 7.55 a.m. All right, guys, so I am sitting at the airport. So literally yesterday when I came from my two day to San Diego, um, I want to say about three or four hours after I was released, I refreshed my schedule to see is there a trip or anything they assigned me? Well, there is something on my board. For the fifth time this month, guys, I am sitting airport standby already reserved. Okay, so I'm actually in the B, or ready reserve B. So ready reserve B is from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m but I can't be extended up to four o'clock. So again, five times. What, what did Dave Chappelle say? One, two, three, four, fifth. <laughs> five times, guys. So contractually, this is the maximum amount of time that I can be used doing airport standby. So, so far this month, I've sat A couch, B couch, and C. And it looks like I'm doing B again, guys. So yeah, I can't believe it. Now for me, I always ask myself, will I get used? Will I do a pre-flight? Will I be going home, right? These are the questions that go through my head, but I really don't know, guys. This is the mysterious, exciting thing about doing airport standby. You just at the airport for a certain amount of time. Um, and not knowing what's going on as far as will you have a trip or anything so we will see as the day go on um but again this is a wig from the archives guys well not the archives this is a fairly new wig this is that natural i forgot the name of it but um i have shown shown you guys in the video so again i'm recycling wigs i did order some and actually they should be coming in today so maybe when i get home my wigs will be there and i can't wait to show you guys that but yeah guys right now i'm in a little corner charging my phone and i'm going to go on youtube and do a couple of things but yeah i cannot believe it this is the most amount of times in a month i've ever sat couch so five times guys i'm just maxed out but we'll see as the day go on so i am a little congested um, my nose is still stuffy. I feel fine. I had my temperature checked. It's just because it is cold weather, guys. You have to understand, I came from Phoenix to the snow. San Diego to the snow. So, it's a whole different type of temperature. Um, but I'm taking all kind of Dayquil, drinking orange juice, and vitamin C tablets, okay? That's what I've been doing, so I do not get sick. Just running nose is all I have. But yeah, um, so this is the eyeshadow look, it's just blue. Nothing too fancy. But yeah, um, so I'm just gonna sit here guys and mind my business and what I'm gonna try to do is, I don't know, see what's gonna happen today, you know? Just stay in my own little world and as the day goes on, we will come back and I will update you. But as it stands, I am sitting at the airport doing Ready Reserve B. So good morning and you guys stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so just a little bit of an update. Not really doing much. Uh, let's see, the local time, it's 921, let me see. Have my phone on the charger, so. I decided to go downstairs to my favorite restaurant. Um, that's an A, because they have that bomb breakfast, guys. I always tell you guys, but again, Denver Central Marketplace, I'll just show you guys, okay? See? Look at that. So again, toast. 
you got eggs bacon and then they gave me a whole bunch of potatoes let me see see good deal guys about to tear this up with some orange juice so you can see no one's really near me right now this is where I'm at yeah so that's what's going on um, I'm gonna eat this like I'm not really doing much I'm on YouTube looking at videos there be so much drama with youtubers on YouTube so yeah it's a lot of stuff going on um, I'm watching somebody Neek at night I watch her channel a lot um, her with lovely T Tasha K but yeah um, so Neek at night is talking about Clarence NYC which is Queen's boyfriend and his ex about this book that allegedly uh, I guess people think the ex wrote so it's a lot it is a like a lot child I just hey that's what be going on but um, we'll see guys I still got a lot of time out there for it I just want to come back to you guys I might go take a nap I don't know what I might do but just a little update so you guys stay tuned and I'll check in with you later okay guys another update so right now it is uh, 12 52 p.m. all right so ladies and gentlemen um, so I was chilling here for a minute but I went to take care of some business um, so recently I applied for a CIDA badge I don't know what it actually stands for I know it stands for something but basically it's a badge that gives me more access like for instance as an example you see that elevator right there so sometimes our escalators coming up to the crew room is down if I had a cider badge on the first level I could take it to the third floor so some of these badges give you access again to elevators like that and also when I go to the gate instead of me waiting for the gate agent to uh, badge me down the jet bridge my cider badge will give me access where I could do it by myself so yeah I applied for one so I went um, to the next level the fourth floor and basically turning on my paperwork you got to take a test it's a lot of stuff they do like a background check fingerprints check and everything so it's pretty intense um, it's just another level of security but yeah having a cider badge is easier in those two uh, examples I'm not all sure what you can use a cider badge for but I will find out soon because um, I'm just waiting for the second part they're gonna um, I think do a background check on me and then again I have to take a test so yeah so that's what I went and did guys but as it stands I have a um, hour and six unless I'm extended to 4 p.m. so I'm really not doing anything guys um, I did walk around just to kind of get some exercise you know so instead of me taking well instead of me taking this elevator I, I went to the fourth floor boy out of breath I'm telling you I climbed two um, I uh, climbed two flights of stairs to get to the fourth floor but I did it so then I had to come back down get my passport and climbed up there again so I did a little exercising but I'm really just sitting here chilling guys minding my business not doing anything I mean it's a lazy day for me I'm a little tired I took some day quill so I just don't have a lot of energy I don't feel like doing a lot you see what I'm saying I'm very surprised I even did a little makeup today but other than that guys I'm just sitting here chilling looking at you know what's going on with the election I tell you guys all the time and again I will say this vote 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 I'm sorry I just found out that most um, post offices I think are you got to turn in your ballot um, actually today yeah I think today's the deadline to do a mail-in ballot and I think they're not going to count them past the third so it's getting crazy with voter suppression and just a lot of stuff that I'm looking at it's just crazy man I'm telling you it is so crazy 
very very crazy guys so just go out there and vote if you uh, don't have time to do a mail-in do it in person and even those lines the state of texas I, I can't believe that all those people in texas they only got one uh official in-person voting i read somewhere like there's only one in the county i don't have all the facts but maybe you guys know what i'm talking about um but it's ridiculous people are waiting so long to vote <sighs> so yeah make your voice be heard in this election guys and one week one week guys from today we will have a new president the 46th or possibly still 45 i'm not sure i just hope I just hope things come together. Like, I'm just, I'm so nervous, guys. I'm being so serious. I'm off on the third and the fourth. I'm gonna to have to go somewhere and just watch this in person by myself because I'm nervous. What's gonna happen? No matter who wins, something is gonna happen. There's gonna be something, oh, I don't wanna think about it, but it's reality, right? So I'll be with you guys. We'll see what happens, guys. But again, now it's hour three. Hour three at the airport, guys. So you guys stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I am released from B Couch, guys. So six hours at the airport, didn't get used. So let me head to the crash pad. And guys, I will be with you to wrap things up. I think my wigs are in, but anyway, stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I am back at the crash pad. What is the local time right now? 4.54 p.m man oh my nose 455 my nose is very very clogged up or clogged up oh wow so here's my bonnet i was looking for this <laughs> anyways guys so yeah the fifth time again i sat couch this month per contract they can't use me more than five times so i am ending almost the month of october with a bang and i just realized tomorrow's my uh younger sister's birthday daphne Yep, it's her birthday tomorrow. She is a Scorpio. But guys, I wanted to show you my wigs. Um, one came and got me, and another crash pad mate. We stopped at Burger King. So, and it's weird. I can't even taste right now. Like I said, my nose is all clogged up. But I feel fine, because again, I had my temperature checked at the airport. So, let me show you these wigs, okay? So, I got three. So again, wigtypes.com. So... I'm going to show you the first one here. I'm just going to turn it around. Okay. So this is the first one by Sensational. So you guys know I live for curly hair. And this is big. This is what this is. Real breaker. Alright. So. 1B. Okay. And then what's the next wig? Let's see. Okay, this is Outre. So this is a bob. And you see here Lenny. And the color is 1B. Okay, and then I got one more wig here. Let's see. All right. And this is also from Outre. Now the color here, DR2 Auburn. So this is a, um, the roots are going to be a different color. Tanache. Yeah, so these are the wigs I got. And again, I'm in my, this is our staging room. So here's my luggage I just threw on the ground. It's a little bit people's bags in here. But yeah, guys, so I'm off for the next two days, okay? The 28th and the 29th. And then I go back home reserve the 30th, 31st, 1st, and the 2nd. So again, um, <clears throat> I'm going to try to probably pick up something or... I don't know what I'm going to do these next two days off, guys. We'll definitely see. But I'm going to eat my Burger King. Try on these wigs. Because, like, I love when I order from wig types. Even though I know what the wigs look like, it's always a surprise. It's kind of like the Cracker Jack box when you're looking for that toy or a box of cereal. And you get to the prize. That's what this is for me. It's like Christmas for me, right? So the stock card... Sometimes it looks different when you put it on. So, yeah. We're going to see. But, guys, I'll be with you on my next adventure, guys. Uh, yeah. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day. And I'm signing off. Bye.